welcome to my YouTube channel. My name's Steve, I make, my, I make plastic model kits and we have an inbox review in this video of this kit from Italy. It's a Spitfire OX6 in 170 second scale. Um, it looks to be a very nice model, I like the uh, box art. Uh, I think the Mark 6 was a pressurised pressurised cockpit and had extended wingtips for high altitude. Um, the box is very nice, I like these accelerator boxes. It's got options for three different spits. Um, so let's see what's in the box. So first off, uh, the decals. printed in Italy, I'm not going to tell you who they printed by, but it's not a cartograph, I would have thought it would have been, with being Italian, but uh, they look very nice anyway. Let's see, British markings, lots of stencils and stuff, so you can get your work cut out. And the instructions, uh, I've never made an accelerator kit before. This is one first one I bought. It comes with a very brief history on the front and the instructions for uh, open out into the build. Also you get a sprue diagram and I think there's some parts are grayed out because you don't need them. Which is very nice, I like that. And there's the basic instructions for the three different Spitfires. Okay, so let's have a look at the plastic. So you get two great uh, I don't know, olive coloured sprues and a clear plastic sprue. The clear plastic looks very nice, clear, thin. Uh, the canopies, there's two different canopies and they're in the three parts, so you could have this canopy open, I suppose. Maybe one is for having the canopy split, slid back. And there you go. It's uh, very small, but it's also very nice. Okay, so on to the plastic. Yeah, it says on the box it's an upgraded mould. But I've never made it before, so I wouldn't, I can't have nothing to compare it with. But to be honest, the uh, mouldings look a bit soft, but they do have fine recessed panel lines. And uh, the, the instrument panel has moulding on dowels, so you can paint them up and dry brush them. So that's for them. So there you get the fuselage. You can see the uh, panel lines are very thin, fine. And then other parts of the rudder parts of the cockpit, wheels, um, joystick, and you get the seat, the floor, and the, and the fins for the extended wingtips. Uh, you get a prop spinner there. I'm a bit disappointed that even though you get a nice cockpit details, there's no sidewall detail on the uh, inside of the fuselage. I don't know why that is. Also, as we'll see in the second sprue, the, mo the nose is moulded separate. It's the, um, so here you get the detail for the wings. And again, nice recess, recess panel lines on the tail planes, the uh, fabric colour covered uh, elevators look very nice. Uh, some detail for inside the wheel wells here, not on the inside of the wing, and also the radiators are moulded in, you'll be able to see right through them, unless there's a part somewhere for, for that to be closed up. Uh, the prop blades are separate, they're here, so you have to mould them into the uh, Spinner boss, but overall 
me it looks very nice so again you see I don't know when I'm going to get ready to make in this one um, we'll have to see so uh, ne my next kit is being lined up Actually, you'll get a review in later alright so this is uh, Steve signing off for now uh, keep modelling and enjoy it as well I enjoy modelling not by doing it if you don't enjoy it ok thanks very much thanks for watching bye